government to keep Jennifer in a safely uh, secure place, away from people that uh, she has identified as being involved in drug trafficking. Jennifer shouldn't be put in harm's way because she, she has nothing to hide. What does the Peruvian government have to hide by not giving her in an open court a fair trial so that the world can see what it is they claim she's done? She says she's innocent of the preposterous charges. I read for you the documents for everyone here. My daughter, Lori Berenson, has been denied justice. And because she has been denied justice, she has been denied her liberty. Aquí se me condenan por preocuparme por la situación de hambre y miseria que existe en este país. Aquí nadie puede negar que en el Perú existe mucho injusticia. Existe una violencia institucionalizada que ha matado a los mejores hijos del pueblo y condena a los niños a morirse de hambre. Si es un crimen preocuparse por la situación infrahumana en que vive la mayoría de esta población, aceptaré mi pena. But uh, to my surprise, um, there have been many topics which, which probably I will not have time to. I think that uh, you have your own judicial system who have a different, from different juridical tradition. And uh, it's not perfect. We are trying to improve it. And I hope that uh, uh, in, the, in a short time, the situation of your daughter can be cleared. I must also tell you that your daughter's situation, or do you think it will, uh, in the near term or the long term? Well, I think there's an opportunity now for our government to say, uh, yes, you're, we know you're strong against terrorism, uh, but you can both be strong against terrorism and uh, observe norms of human rights that you can. Uh, observe international standards, we're not talking U.S. standards, international standards of due process and that you can have prisons that, even though you're poor, do respect prisoner rights. She only wanted to talk about other prisoners who were ill and needed medication. She, she doesn't ever talk about herself. You know, he's been there about a month and a half and when Lori was visiting in February, she told the U.S. government that it's so tense here that the guards, you know, who's during the hostage crisis,